inning points, except the the start the the first one uh, at fifty five. I started it at 49, so I should have said these ones, 55, then at 57 to 59 to 61 to 63. Now I'm going to take the ending points. So the ending points end at 57. So there's the 57, and then again, I'm just going to add 2,000, 57 plus 2,000, 59 plus 2,000 to 61. In Excel, I would do that by saying equals the cell above it plus 2,000, and then I can simply copy that down. That's not the only way you could do it. You can also type in a couple of these numbers. It'll make a trend, and then you should be able to copy it down, and Excel will be able to see the, see the relationship, uh, the pattern. So in any case, there's the two. Now, now in Excel, if I'm going to use Excel to do this, I would like to then get a bucket that's labeled like this, 55,000 comma 57,000, or 55,002. 57,000, something that looks like this. You can type that into Excel. One way to do that is simply, of course, to type into the cell 49,000 to 57,000. Note, however, you have to be careful when typing numbers or when you're trying to type something in that has like an equal or a plus or something like that, where you don't want it to actually do a function, a calculation, or change it to a number format, but simply put in what you typed. So sometimes you need to put an apostrophe before you type something in to tell Excel, hey, look, I just want you to put what I typed in there. I don't want you to try to make a formula from it. However, even if you type it in there, it's still kind of tedious to do. So we've put these two in here pretty quickly. These two columns, we were able to copy the columns down, even if we have large columns. What we would like to do is make a formula so I can copy the formula down. So when I have formulas that have like text in it, they can look pretty complicated, but once you do them a few times, they're not that bad. So if you wanted to do this with a formula, instead of typing it, it would look something like this. Equals, we're going to pick what's in cell in this cell, which is represented by C17 here. And then when I want to put a text field, I have to put quotations around it. So this is going to say, I want you to take that what's in this cell. I don't want you, Excel, to do a formula i don't want you to add to it or subtract or anything like that divide but instead i want you to just combine it that's why, why we have and i want you to and take that cell and and then in quotations type the text of just a dash that's not a minus sign i don't want you to subtract the two cells excel i want you to just put a dash between them and then and the other the next piece which is d17 that represents this cell so it looks a little complicated. You could just type it in there. Uh, you can see in theory what we're doing, but in Excel, it would be great if you can get faster at doing these things. Then of course you can do these conceptual concepts quickly uh, in Excel, which helps you to really understand things faster because you're able to practice with them faster. So then we can then uh, do a formula to try to say what's in that bucket. Now, clearly I could just go into my data and I could say, well, the 55,000 is in that bucket, and then I can go to the second bucket and say it's 57 to 59, and I can go in here to 57 and count the ones up till I get to 59, and so on and so forth, but that's tedious. So clearly we want to be able to do that in Excel. So this is another complicated looking formula, but if, if you're able to get the formulas down, then it's quite useful. So you can see what we're doing in concept and then if you if you were to do this in Excel, you, you can do a count ifs formula. So what we're telling Excel, I want you to select this entire range and I want you to count uh, the numbers, meaning I don't want you to add them or subtract it, just count them if, and there's an if with an S because we want you to have multiple conditions. There's gonna be multiple conditions. What are those conditions gonna be? Well, I want you to count everything that's greater than uh, 49,000 up to and including 57,000. So, so you, those are the two conditions. Now, note that when I start to add this formula down, you might say, well, wait a second. I want stuff from 49,000 to 57,000, 57,000 to 59,000, 59,000 to 61,000. What if, for example, the number is exactly 59,000? which bucket is it going to be in? Is it going to be in this bucket or is it going to be in the bucket down uh, below? 
And the answer we typically gonna, gonna want here is I wanna include it in the upper bucket. So I'm gonna say this bucket is 57,000 to 59,000. This bucket is actually everything above 59,000 up to and including 61,000. And by the way, that's why I put 49,000 here instead of 55,000 as the lower range because I want it to be below uh, the, lower, the lower range. So I can say that I want you to pick up everything that's above this number. And if I put 55,000, then it would be right on the line equal to. So I want it to be 49,000 on that first one. And that's why we have that difference. And I'll have that difference in this first bucket than I have up here. Okay, so let's do that then. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say count ifs, and then we selected the range. Now this is my argument. So we said count ifs, I selected the range with this argument, there's the range, and then comma to the next argument. So now because we're, we wanna have greater than, we have to use the, the quotations again. So we've gotta use the quote, greater than, quote, and then we're gonna combine it with, and therefore we need the and, the uh, C17. And so that's gonna be saying, I want everything that is greater than what's in C17, the C17 representing this 49,000. So this is the table being selected, comma, you want to count everything that's greater than uh, what's in C17, which is this 49,000. Now, if I just hit enter there, it would take everything. It would basically count the whole thing. I think it's 51 numbers because it's all greater than that lower limit. But we have the second condition, comma, condition number two, which is going to select the entire table again. So we're just redoing the thing, entire table, comma, the condition here, quotation marks, needs to be less than or equal to. So notice that that first condition was, I just need it to be greater than this number. I'm not saying or equal to, I just greater than. This one I need 